the extended family, condole with you, Mama, and your family, but also to celebrate a hard-working Kenyan, a sincere Kenyan, a man who was dedicated to the cause of education in this country. I had the opportunity to first meet up with Professor Magoha when he was still the Vice Chancellor, interact a number of times. And by speaking with him, I got to realize that uh, this was a man who was not interested in position, but rather what he could do with position. You know, there's a very big difference. There are people who seek position for the sake of it. But there are those who are in position and are interested in what they can do with that position for the greater good. George Magoha belongs in that category of Kenyan. He was a man who, as I said earlier, would speak his mind. He was a man who did not fear speaking to truth with what he had to say, but he would say it. And that, as much as he had great disdain for politicians, that is the mark of a leader. Because a leader leads from the front. Some of the challenges that he had to face were challenges that many would have run away from. Saying this is too difficult, or this is too controversial, or this is going to have a problem. Prof, as I used to call him, never backed down, never shied away. So long as he believed it was the right thing to do. He would lead from the front. He would lead from the front. When I appointed him after his term at the university ended and I appointed him to head the National Examination Council, exactly what uh, Fred said here, we were going through a lot of challenges with exams in this country. And when we met and went through, and I repeat again, leading from the front, Professor took it personally. Professor used to go and ensure where are the exams being printed, supervising it, not sending officers, supervising it himself personally. How are they being packed, supervising it himself personally? How are they being shipped himself? When they land in Kenya, where they are, how they are, until they get to the respective containers. Assigning ministers and PSs and other officers, you are in charge to make sure this container is open, make sure the seal is intact, make sure this is intact, make sure this is intact, to the point that he brought integrity back to our exams. And there is no doubt, and I believe, that when I made him a minister, I made the right choice in putting at the helm of education a man who deserved that position and from there continued to do what he did in addressing the curriculum challenges that we had, in bringing on board a new education system. People may say whatever they want to say. Hiyo ni wataongea, utaona watarudi tu, hapo hapo. Oja, wata wapatiwa nafasi, wapige mgumzu. They will come back there. Kuna pa lingine wataenda. Because it was not done to hate this one, to spite that one, to do this one. It was done in the interest of the children of this republic to better prepare them for that future 
that was rapidly or, or radically different from the future that some of us had to look forward to. That is what he was preparing. Kenyans who are able to be up to the challenge. I think this country has lost not only a great soldier, a great soul, a loyal man, and a person who truly loved what he did. He had no time for the hairy fairy of office. No, him it was a job. You talk a lot about what they will do and do nothing, and their deeds are seen. Magoha belongs to that class of people who are doers. Very little talking, but in executing. The deeds are there and will. He was our colleague, and we worked as a team. We were a team. We were together. And as such, you are stand with you, and whatever it is that you ask, and for Kenya, we shall be there for you, his final days, 